When it comes to being the best male that you could possibly be, it comes down to a lot more than just skyrocketing individual hormones. It comes down to balance, optimizing your life through proper hormone balance across multiple different avenues. And in this video, I wanna give you three specific compounds that I highly recommend using in conjunction with each other, of course, along with a nutritionally balanced diet to get the most out of your male life. And even if you're a female, you can still adopt a lot of these principles to ultimately get the most out of your life as well. So I wanna focus on my three favorite compounds. The first one I'm gonna talk about is one you've probably heard of before. It's simple, it's tribulus. Okay, tribulus is known as that testosterone booster, but it's so much more than that. You see, tribulus is derived from an ancient Chinese and Indian and Greek herb. It's been used for centuries. It's been used for a long period of time, not to necessarily help boost testosterone, but to help balance out hormones in general. There was actually a 2008 study that found some pretty interesting things pertaining to tribulus that are a lot more powerful than what you hear just on the typical bro science on the internet. See, what was found was that there was a huge increase in DHT. Now that DHT is the bioavailable form of testosterone. It's ultimately the usable free flowing form. So that's very, very important when it comes down to feeling better. But the other thing that this study found was that there was a huge increase in dehydroepiandrosterone, also known as DHEA. And what that DHEA is, if you've seen other videos of mine, is essentially a precursor to many male sex hormones, not just testosterone. And when we're looking at overall balance, that's something that we have to pay close attention to. Now where tribulus essentially gets its powerful effect is from something called protodioskin, which is an active component in the tribulus. What this protodioskin does is it helps out our bioavailable free testosterone levels. It helps separate some of the molecules that allow this testosterone to be usable. But then again, we have to look at the fact that tribulus by itself isn't always great because it can skew some of your hormones and put things out of balance. So that leads me to the next compound that you really wanna make sure you're taking, whether you're getting it from a supplement or you're getting it in a raw food form, and that is maca root. You've seen my videos talking about maca before. Okay, all maca is is a Peruvian root. And you've seen my videos, you know how I am about staying as close to the earth as possible, but maca is a member of the mustard family. Very, very down to earth, very natural in every sense of the word. But what exactly does maca do? You see, maca is known as a hormone modulator. It doesn't necessarily increase any one specific hormone, but it works across all endocrine glands. So that means it can help you with your adrenal function, it's gonna help you with your thyroid function, it's gonna help you with testosterone function, and it can help modulate estrogen as well. So it's doing a lot of things across the board. You see, the way that maca balances our hormones is by working on something called the HPTA, the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. So it works on brain signaling. So our brain is signaling different endocrine hormones. Rather than taking a specific compound that's working directly on one hormone, maca is working on modulating the brain signals. This allows our body to have that natural skewing of hormones that needs to happen based on activity, based on mood, and whatever the case may be. The next compound I wanna talk about is DIM, also known as methane. It is a mouthful to say, so we're just gonna call it DIM. Okay, the reason that I wanna talk about DIM is because it helps modulate estrogen. But before I go into detail about estrogen, let me stop everyone in their tracks right here. Estrogen is not bad, okay? We need estrogen. We need it to balance out testosterone. We need it to balance out other hormones. And let me tell you this, if you were to eradicate and crush your estrogen levels, like a lot of people will tell you to, you're gonna have extremely achy joints, you're gonna be super irritable, you're not gonna have an appetite, and you're gonna feel like garbage. Estrogen is critical for that proper serendipitous balance between testosterone and other sex hormones. So what exactly is DIM? Okay, so when you look at the cruciferous vegetable, things like broccoli, things like cauliflower, things like bok choy, Swiss chard, anything that's cruciferous, they contain something called indole 3 carbonyl. Now what that IC3 is, is basically an expanded version of DIM. There are small amounts of that methane within IC3. But the amount of cruciferous vegetables that you would have to eat in order to elicit a positive response like you would get from just taking a DIM supplement is astronomical. You'd have to take a ton. So when we look at DIM, it's basically a very concentrated form of the estrogen modulators that you get out of cruciferous vegetables. But let's talk about estrogen for just two seconds, all right? We've got two different kinds of estrogen. We've got 2-hydroxyestrogen and we've got 16-hydroxyestrogen. 
we want to control the 16 hydroxy estrogen. That's the estrogen that is negative. That's the estrogen that helps you store fat. That's the estrogen that converts that aromatase enzyme, converts testosterone into more fat and more negative properties of estradiol. We want to control that one. The nice thing about DIM is it actually supports the good estrogen, the 2-hydroxy estrogen, and it helps kill off and crush the 16-hydroxy estrogen. What this does is it gets rid of the extra estrogen floating in the bloodstream that would normally be bound to testosterone. Consequently, you free up some of the testosterone, so you kill two birds with one stone. Not only do you eliminate the water retention, the bloating, and potential fat gain from 16-hydroxyestrogen, but you also release some of the free testosterone that can allow you to get those male optimization benefits that you really want. The benefits that are going to help you feel better in the gym, the benefits that are going to help you make better decisions in the kitchen, the benefits that are going to help you in the bedroom, the things that a lot of us guys are always concerned with. So there you have it. Those are my three compounds, my three formulas that I think are the most potent over-the-counter variations that you can use to get the most out of the male life. Now you can find these combined in some supplements, but a lot of times you're going to find that they're in the improper ratios. I stand behind a couple of particular products and you can see them in the description below, but for the most part, it's very important to get as much as you can from a healthy diet, from a balanced nutritional standpoint, and of course, just making sure that you're always checking your blood work, making sure that you're always staying on top of your own health, because at the end of the day, you're the only one that can own you. See you in the next video.